the plugin that we use to manage the banner adverts on the website is called AdRotate. Now it's pre-installed with the package and the website comes with several banner ads already set up on the site just to show you uh, what you can do um, but obviously you'll need to change those banner ads as soon as you set your site up. Now all the settings for the banner ads can be found in your WordPress dashboard under Ad Rotate in the left hand menu. Now we've set up several adverts to show you how the system works which can be accessed via Manage Ads under the Ad Rotate menu and we've also set up several groups to group adverts together. For instance we've grouped banner adverts um, that are used in the header together and we've grouped sidebar adverts together and we're using another group down in the footer area at the bottom for these smaller ads. So first of all let's just have a look at um, an actual advert in the back end. So under Ad Rotate if we go to Manage Ads and let's take the leaderboard ads which are the ones at the top of the site in the header Okay, so this advert here, we can see that we've given it a title and we've used the actual size of the ad um, and then a name. The ad code is taken from an example over on the side here, so we're referencing the actual link of where that ad will take us and then it's putting in the image. Uh, and the whole thing is a link so it's a link to a page and we'll come to which page in a moment but this code is just basic code taken from over here one of these basic examples now you can you can change these um, but this is the one we use and it makes the ad clickable and we can put a page address in where we want the ad to take the uh, user so in this case um, if that is clicked it will take them to another website and you could take them to another product or if you're selling adverts um, to your customers site and where we put that link is down below here if we scroll down we have all the details of the the advert so we're enabling click tracking for this advert we'll come back to that in a moment here is the target URL of that particular advert so when I clicked that advert a moment ago it took us to this website so wherever you want the um, user to go to when the advert is clicked you need to put the URL in there. The actual image itself is uploaded using this part here the banner image so you simply click select banner upload your banner um, and then the URL of the banner will be put automatically into here. Now this is not the Ad Rotate Pro version. You can upgrade to that if you wish. Um, it's not our plugin, but you can do that uh, simply by clicking the, the button here. Um, in the advanced version, the Pro version, there's a lot more uh, things you can use. You can wait adverts um, and geolocate, and there's lots of other things you can do. 
um, we don't bundle that one with our package but as I say if you want to upgrade just click the link that says upgrade today so we've put in the target URL we've uploaded our banner you can then come further down and schedule the banner advert so you can put a start date an end date um, start time and end time you can put in maximum number of clicks or maximum impressions however you want to run your campaigns and then you can select which group of adverts you want that banner to go in so because we've already set up a group called header leaderboard um, that is ticked and we can then save the advert to get the full rundown on how this plugin works and what you can do with it you can check out the links at the bottom um, there's some manuals there and get yourself up to speed on how to use this I'm just giving you a brief overview in this tutorial finally just make sure that the advert is active make sure that says yes this ad will be used and click save advert now I explained that this particular advert is in the header leaderboard group so let's go and have a look at the actual group of adverts so if we now go over to manage groups and we want the header leaderboard group so if we click on there here's the name of the group and the mode is how you want the advert to actually show so we have this set at the moment to rotate the banner ads so you can see there's a different one and then we're back to the one we've been dealing with that's because it's set on dynamic mode to show a different ad every few seconds now there are some settings you need to change to be able to to get to the dynamic mode and um, those are in the settings page now it says here dynamic mode requires jQuery and jQuery dynamic groups to be loaded you can enable this in ad rotate settings so let's just quickly nip over to the settings page a moment and if we scroll down we can see that the JavaScript libraries section here um, includes this load jQuery so um, that probably needs to be ticked if you're going to use dynamic ads you'll have to um, you may have to play about with it a bit to get it exactly as you want um, or simply leave the system as it is and just change your adverts um, and it should work fine because we've already set it up but um, be aware that you can change settings here in the settings page we'll just nip back to the groups again and the header leaderboard group moving down the settings here uh, the block mode the dynamic and block mode is, is about uh, how the uh, or uh, what size block the adverts are shown in um, now these settings are fine as they are um, you might need to change them if you change your advert types and that type of thing but uh, it's all set up and ready for you to go at the moment you can change advert margins and the order here and you can change where the, the posts are, where, or where the adverts are shown in specific categories and pages and you'll see that uh, a short code is given for each individual group now there are two ads selected for this group they're both the large leaderboard ads that you've seen the green banner and the red banner so in the group you can see that these have been selected so from here you can select other adverts to go or be shown in that group
you can also see the number of impressions and clicks that each particular uh, banner ad has had so how do we actually get these adverts onto the front end of the site itself well let's take this header area here and have a look at how we've placed these banner ads in the header if we go back to the WordPress dashboard and go to appearance widgets we can see that there is an ad rotate widget now this widget allows us to place the ads wherever we like on the site um, and the ones we're looking at are in the header so if we take the header widget inside there we'll see the ad rotate widget if we open it up we can see that we are using the group of ads and the group ID is 9 so I'm going to flick back over to ad rotate groups I'm going to have a look at ad ID 9 or ad group ID 9 that's the header leaderboard if I wanted to change which group of adverts were seen here to let's say this group in page 468 by 60 that's the size of the adverts I would just make a note of the ID which is number one and then I would change the ID in here to one instead of nine click Save and now that group of ads would appear here so let's scroll down the page and have a look at these other ads so if we go right to the bottom these ads in the footer we can see by going to the uh, footer widgets so you've got four of them in this case one two three four let's just open that first one and here I've used a text widget instead of the add rotate widget and I've added a short code so you've got more ways than one to actually add the widgets or add the banners to individual widgetized areas so in here I could have easily dragged over this widget and change that to a group of ads 4 which is I think what we've used there yeah group 4 so I could have done it that way so you need to bear in mind that you can actually use the widget or you can use the short code sometimes one will be better to use than the other now we've also used ads in the sidebars the primary and secondary sidebars are used for the home page and the left hand sidebar column and right hand sidebar column are used for other pages which are not the home page so it means you can have uh, different sidebars showing on on different pages that's all but you can put these ads anywhere you like in any of the sidebars so here we've we've chosen to use the ad rotate widget to show group 2 so that would be sidebar square ads if we have a look at the group we can see that there's a few different ads ticked so let's just have a look at these ads a moment if we go over to manage ads and if we choose one of those here's the actual ad itself and you can see that the actual ad has its own short code so you don't always have to use a group you can use the ad or I should say the single ad 
short code as you might want to place single ads around the site as opposed to groups. That's basically it with regard to the ad rotate plugin and banner ads on your site. If you want more information you can go to the general info tab underneath ad rotate and you'll find links to the developers blog uh, and all sorts of information. Uh, just before we finish I want to point out a couple of extra things that you might want to keep your eye on to do with the plugin. On the general info page you can be kept up to date on adverts that are expiring or have errors and the number of ads and um, clicks and impressions over the last few days so that's often worth keeping your eye on. Also if we go to the settings page Um, now you must have enable stats clicked so that the clicks are and impressions are tracked um, so just make sure that tick is on it should be set if you come down the page a bit you'll see that there's um, some extra options if you're using caching plugins that may provide useful to you uh, and there's various other settings below uh, that you might want to use the system is set up for you to use straight away all you'll need to do is change the the ads that you have and you might want to play about with the ad groups um, once you've done those uh, everything should be okay for you to um, start using banner ads on your site uh, I would say as a last point that uh, if you're serious about it uh, it would be a good idea to upgrade to the pro version um, we're not affiliated with it at all so we don't earn any money out of that but uh, uh, it does allow you to provide ad statistics to the actual advertiser so they can log in and see the impressions and clicks that they're getting from their advert and that might be useful to you uh, also I should say that uh, you don't have to use this ad rotate plugin um, there are various plugins out there that are great for banner adverts and providing ads on your site so feel free to delete this uh, and use whatever banner advert system you currently use uh, we just threw this one in because it's a good one and it uh, will help you get started uh, if you haven't got another banner ad system in place okay good luck with it and as always if you need support on anything to do with the directory system uh, just open the ticket at our support site. Thanks for your time.